My name is Tony Williams. I am the program manager on the Queen Elizabeth Carrier program. Um, I manage uh, all the equipment supplied by Rolls Royce to, to the program, and it covers the, both the ships, the Queen Elizabeth and the Prince of Wales. Rolls Royce supply lots of equipment for the carrier, including the, the gas turbines, so we, the MT30 gas turbines we supply. Uh, shaft lines, propellers, which come out of our Sweden facility. Uh, we also supply the steering gear and the sta stabilizers uh, from the Dunfermline facility. Yeah, we also supply the heavy replenishment of sea equipment, which allows them to transfer loads up to five tonnes from a vessel alongside. The MC-30 gas turbine uh, that supplies the, the power to allow the, the aircraft to fly, fly from the carrier. So it increases the power on the ship to keep, increase the speed of the ship to allow the flying to take place. But the MT-30 has performed outstandingly well throughout, throughout the trials, from initial commissioning through the integration trials and now at sea. Uh, the engines have performed exceptionally well. They've now got over 600 hours each on, on each of the engines. And yeah, no, no issues at all. So other equipment we've got on sea trials will be performing really well from so, um, steering gear. So initially set in sail, we had to ensure the steering gear was all working correctly. That's performed really well. It was a long process preparing for sea trials uh, for all the equipment. Uh, for example, the GTAs, gas turbines, uh, we had to go through setting to work the equipment, commissioning the equipment, and then going into the full integration trials, which is integrating it within the ship. And it was the same with the shaft line and steering gears. There was Lots of process we had to go up front to do that, set through setting to work as I said, and commissioning to ensure it all worked uh, prior to going to sea. Um, on average, we got three free, free service engineers on board um, looking after the equipment. Um, so, our primary focus is the gas turbines, we have one engineer monitoring that, and the low voltage equipment. Um, depending on what trials are taking its place, at what stage is what engineers will have on board. So for example, initially when the ship set sail, uh, we had the steering gear engineer on board supported by uh, Rafi and our contractor for the control system of it. It's been a long, long program, the Aircraft Carrier Alliance. It's been going for over 10 years now. There's lots of people been involved throughout Rolls-Royce and the commitment and energy, all those all those people has been exceptional and um, to see this ship sell no issues at all on the Rolls Royce equipment on itself it's, it's been brilliant and that's all down to the dedication and hard work of everyone's done within Rolls Royce.